uh, hey the rabbit uh, just seen your latest video about Genesis in the lab versus on the earth and uh, yeah you were saying that oh the example you weren't you were using wasn't particularly great uh, it was just sort of thought off the top of your head uh, as this video so I feel your pain now I am um, use the example of uh, flipping a coin and trying to get a combination of head tails head tails head tails head tails you said it would be more likely if you flipped a thousand coins at once um, you would get that combination. Uh, you happened to mention dice previously. Uh, the better analogy I've heard is that uh, say you have a thousand dice and you want to get a thousand sixes. If you roll all a thousand dice, doesn't matter how many times you roll all a thousand dice, chances are within your own lifetime you're never going to get a thousand sixes to land. So instead what you do, and this is how genetics works, this is how uh, abiogenesis probably would have come about, is that you roll all a thousand dice and any six that comes up representing well, within evolution it would be an advantageous mutation and within abiogenesis it would be some sort of combination of molecules that works together. Uh, so every six that comes up you push to the side then you pick up the other 950 dice you roll again and you're left with 800 that aren't sixes so you push those sixes to the side you take them you roll again you roll again until all a thousand dice have finally landed on a six you will be able to do that within a day rather than 80 years just thought that would help but awesome video keep making them and see you guys later